In this video, we will be learning about power factor improvement methods. But, first, let us know what do we mean by power factor. The term power factor comes into the picture in AC circuits only. Mathematically it is the cosine of the phase difference between the source voltage and current. It refers to the fraction of total power, apparent power, which is utilized to do the useful work called active power. We can see here that power factor meters do have cos phi printed in the meter display. Now, we will see how power factor can be improved. While the ideal power factor, PF, is unity or 1, most industrial loads have a PF lower than 1. Moreover, this lower PF is usually inductive, arising out of the windings of transformers, motors, and the like. These loads consume QVARs, the wattless component, from the supply line. The principle of PF compensation is to supply these QVARs via a capacitor located close to the load, reducing the current drawn from the supply line. Let's see the methods for power factor improvement. First method is, static capacitor The power factor can be improved by connecting capacitors in parallel with the equipment operating at lagging power factor. The capacitor, generally known as static capacitor, draws a leading current and partly or completely neutralizes the lagging reactive component of load current. This raises the power factor of the load. For three-phase loads, the capacitors can be connected in delta or star. Advantages 1. They have low losses 2. They require little maintenance as there are no rotating parts 3. They can be easily installed as they are light and require no foundation 4. They can work under ordinary atmospheric conditions Disadvantages 1. They have short service life ranging from 8 to 10 years 2. They are easily damaged if the voltage exceeds the rated value 3. Once the capacitors are damaged, their repair is uneconomical static capacitors are not used directly with load, instead we make automatic power factor correction panel. These panels also called as APFC panels comprises of capacitors along with switching contactor and protection circuit breaker, and a power factor controller is used to control on-off operation of capacitor banks, as per the running load condition. In all the load conditions, power factor tries to achieve unity power factor. Second method is, synchronous condenser A synchronous motor takes a leading current when overexcited, and, therefore, behaves as a capacitor. An overexcited synchronous motor running on no load is known as synchronous condenser. When such a machine is connected in parallel with the supply, it takes a leading current which partly neutralizes the lagging reactive component of the load. Thus the power factor is improved. Advantages 1. By varying the field excitation, the magnitude of current drawn by the motor can be changed by any amount. This helps in achieving steps less control of power factor. 2. The motor windings have high thermal stability to short circuit currents. 3. The faults can be removed easily. Disadvantages 1. There are considerable losses in the motor. 2. The maintenance cost is high. 3. It produces noise. 4. Except in sizes above 500 Qva, the cost is greater than that of static capacitors of the same rating. 5. As a synchronous motor has no self-starting torque, therefore, an auxiliary equipment has to be provided for this purpose. Third method is, phase advancers Phase advancers are used to improve the power factor of induction motors. The low power factor of an induction motor is due to the fact that its stator winding draws exciting current which lags behind the supply voltage by 90 degrees. If the exciting ampere turns can be provided from some other AC source, then the stator winding will be relieved of exciting current, and the power factor of the motor can be improved. This job is accomplished by the phase advancer which is simply an AC exciter. The phase advancer is mounted on the same shaft as the main motor and is connected in the rotor circuit of the motor. It provides exciting ampere turns to the rotor circuit at slip frequency. By providing more ampere turns than required, the induction motor can be made to operate on leading power factor like an overexcited synchronous motor. Advantages 1. 
as the exciting ampere turns are supplied at slip frequency, therefore, lag and var drawn by the motor are considerably reduced. 2. The phase advancer can be conveniently used where the use of synchronous